What if I told you that one plugin could save you hours and hours of painstaking routing on every track that you make? Now, as I've said here many times, you can do just about anything using stock tools out of the box these days. So when I buy a plugin, I'm often looking for something that's going to save me time and or make my workflow easier and more efficient. Today, I wanna show you one of those time and life-saving workflow efficiency plugins that has made my life much easier over the past year the Kickstart 2 plugin by Cable Guys. Now, side chaining, and more specifically, side chain compression, is a common and important element of sound design that can also happen to be a bit convoluted and time consuming to set up, although this certainly varies from DAW to DAW. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with this technique, side chaining is a process most famously used in EDM production to make space and separation in the mix for different elements, usually the kick. Now you can have sidechain EQ, you can have sidechain compression. The process itself is just taking an effect and using another sound to trigger that effect. So in the case of sidechain compression, which is what we're going to be talking about in this video, you're using one sound as an input to control the volume of another sound so that they don't clash or compete with one another. Traditionally, you have to route the kick or whichever source instrument you're chaining to, to a separate bus or send, apply a compressor to the destination track, plug in the bus from the first input as a side chain input on the compressor on the destination track, and then you can start to get things and settles dialed in. One problem with this is what if you want your kick to pause for a few measures, but you want the side chain ducking effect to continue, you might have to make something like a ghost track to use as a side chain trigger, where essentially you have a trigger for the side chain playing on a track that doesn't go to your stereo or master bus. And this can give you sort of a ghost side chain trigger. All of this can get as complicated as you want it to, but that's where the Kickstart plugin comes in. And I actually wanna briefly talk about the original Kickstart plugin first. Now, Kickstart was designed specifically to easily get control and mix in this sidechain effect in one single plugin without the bus routing. And it makes the process of tuning your sound a little bit simpler. All you have to do is drag and drop it onto your destination instrument FX channel, and it's gonna take care of the rest. It'll automatically set up the compression so you don't have to worry about any of the technical details on a certain time signature. Now the original plugin took the project tempo and came with a set of envelopes to choose from. These are basically shapes that the ducking is going to take form from. So that's all helpful on its own, and I used Kickstart 1 for years, but Kickstart 2 has all of those awesome old features, but the upgrade also includes a suite of new useful features. For one, it adds a sync, a MIDI, and an audio mode. Let's do a quick just audio demonstration here. Turn up the mix slowly and see what the plugin sounds like on this kind of synthy drone effect. Now, like before, you can choose a simple time signature, but now you can also sync it and sidechain the effect to a direct instrument. So this works very similar to normal sidechaining where you have an input, but now you can use just the plugin without using a separate compressor to get all of those simplified effects and the stock envelopes using an actual trigger. And what's also interesting is you can plug it into an audio sample. So you can do the same thing with a ghost trigger by simply having an audio track that you're side chaining to with the output turned off. And with the new MIDI mode, you can actually read the MIDI of a track without having to worry about turning off the outputs at all. This is a lot easier than in the past when we would have to you know, do all this bus routing. You'll also notice in the bottom left here that we get a band mode. So this is gonna allow us to duck only the low frequencies or duck below a specific given frequency. So this allows us to really get a sidechain EQ out of the plugin as well. Overall, the Kickstart plugin suite has definitely been a game changer for me. It has made my workflow faster and more efficient, and it's helped me create better sounding mixes. If you're someone who often uses sidechaining in your music production, I highly recommend giving the Kickstart 2 plugin a try. Now, I didn't show the full process of setting up traditional sidechaining, so if you want to see just how much time this plugin can save you, you, or you want to see how you can still manually sidechain in order to get that finer and more precise control over your sidechain, 
compression, EQ, or other effects. I think you should check out one of these two videos I have here explaining how to manually sidechain EQ a track and manually sidechain compress a track. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks on music production and your artist journey. Thank you for watching.